Hi everyone, it's Michelle here again, and I am continuing the series on Yes, You Are a Teacher. We're going outside. So I want to give you some ideas of what uh, you can do outside in the backyard with your children. Uh, I just also, before I get started, want to thank those family child care uh, providers, those centers who are open and caring for the children of those who are on the front lines, our law enforcement, our health care officials, all those uh, people who still need someone to care for their children. And also for those of you um, who are home, you're looking for activities to do, and uh, I'm happy to give you some ideas on those things. And remember that sitting in front of the computer sometimes gets a bit much. And so you want to get outside, you want to get some fresh air. It clears the mind. Uh, it helps physically, mentally, and definitely emotionally. So let's get going. All right, so when we first walk outside, you're going to see um, some bouncies, the red bouncies there. I have some mats that uh, the children can climb on and bounce on. I also have a tunnel. They love going through this tunnel here. Um, and they like to play. Even with the colors, they will say, go through the yellow and come out the purple. Or go through the purple, come out the yellow. So, uh, like I said, always teachable moments. We also have the choo-choo train here. And the kids love to play with the train. They go in. They pretend that they're going on a trip. Um... It's also a good teachable moment. You can talk about trains and all of those kinds of things. And I'm just going to take you around here to, uh, we have hula hoops and the children love to do hula hoops. They have different sizes and for the younger ones and for the older ones. And so hula hoop is always a good uh, exercise as well. And I have um, things in here like they can go fishing and it's also a good way to help with counting and also those uh, motor skills so because they're trying to put these fish on their hook um, and they love the turtle that it's sitting in and which actually I used as one of my little pools but we can't do that anymore and so um, when it gets starts to get a little bit warmer we'll do sprinkler and we're also going to have a water station. Now I'm going to bring you over here. I have a rocking horse type thing, or it's actually a fish. And so the children can get on it and rock back and forth. They love doing that, pretending like they're going places. And when we get out, I have a six passenger stroller uh, and the children hop in and we go everywhere in our six passenger stroller all around the neighborhood. And um, they love that as well and I have my water station here with all types of things in it so that you can put water in there and the children love to play in water that's like an all-day activity uh, particularly when it gets warm or you can take it inside put something underneath so that your floors won't be so wet and then the children can play with the water I also have a kitchen area the children love to cook I know I told you that my um, pretend zone or my housekeeping uh, area uh, for my child care is very popular and so we brought that outside. I have the cars that they can drive in and what we usually do is we take our sidewalk chalk and we draw a road that the children can stay on. It keeps them on that road. They know that they can't go off the road because there are other people who are playing. Uh, so it makes for uh, really good fun. They can still play in there and everybody can be outside together. We have our picnic table and from the kitchen the kids will bring the pots and the plates over pretend like they're cooked, they're eating and uh, it's really nice. We also do arts and crafts out here as well so you can bring your your paint and your clay uh, your glue and all those things and you can always have a craft session and as you can see also I have bubbles. The children love 
to do with the bubbles as well. And then I have my sand box over here. Sand is another very popular uh, station for us outside and the children love to dig and pour and everything that is a good teachable moment for math. Uh, and then over here I have my, my golf area and you can see the little golf cart and the golf uh, clubs and the children love to uh, make up actually their own game when they play golf and that's fine as well. And then I have my other little turtle here and inside there I keep jump ropes and I keep um, our sidewalk chalk and some other things as well. So if the children want to play with those they can lift that up and they can get those things out. And then I have of course my basketball, little basketball court here and my basketball and some of them try to put the basketball up in that large, tall basketball as well. So these are just a few of the things that you can do outside. It's like I said, it's very good. The children love to get outside. They don't care what the weather is. Um, and we try to come outside. It could be snowing. It could be raining a little bit. Um, of course, if there's really harsh temperatures, you don't want to do that. Um, and then you can bring a lot of your things inside as well. So I hope you've gotten some ideas on what you can do outside. Um, you can have plenty of things. You see everything is spaced out nicely. And so they're not going to get in each other's way while there's playing. And there's also plenty to do. And that's what you want to do as well. You can also, um, what we like to do around this time of year, is pick up some of these pine cones and do activities with the pine cones and the branches and all that. We also talk about how the trees are starting to um, get leaves on them. Some of the flowers are blooming. Uh, and we have a really, really big pine tree here, which is where we get our pine cones from. And we talk a little bit about that as well. And so you can see one of our trees is starting to bloom. We talk about the color, what type of tree that may be, um, what we think are gonna happen with the leaves and everything. All right, so don't forget to like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also take a look at my Facebook page, uh, Mighty Empowerment Experience, and leave comments below. What are you doing outside? Or what are your outside activities?